In a surprising turn of events, a star thought to be dead has shown signs of life again. Scientists using a radio telescope have picked up unusual signals coming from it. This star, dubbed XTEJ 1810197, is one of the strongest magnetars in the universe, and it's about 8,000 light years away from Earth. It's also the closest magnetar to us. In this video, we'll look into what magnetars are, the story of this particular magnetar waking up, and why this discovery is important for our understanding of the universe. Let's dive into these exciting topics and uncover the secrets of these incredibly magnetic stars. Imagine celestial bodies with magnetic fields a thousand times stronger than the most potent magnets known on Earth. These are magnetars, a rare and fascinating type of neutron star born from the explosive deaths of massive stars and supernovae. The sheer intensity of their magnetic fields would be enough to wipe the data from any credit card on Earth if it were close enough. Albeit, they are thankfully thousands of light years away. Magnetars are born from the cataclysmic supernova explosions that mark the death of massive stars, as the remnants of these stars collapse under their gravity into neutron stars. However, not all neutron stars are magnetars. A special set of conditions must prevail. It is thought that the star's rotation speed and the nature of its magnetic field prior to the supernova play critical roles in magnifying the magnetic field during the star's collapse. The power of magnetars is not just theoretical. They assert themselves through scattered bursts of X-rays and gamma rays, the most energetic forms of electromagnetic radiation. These bursts can illuminate the galaxy and are believed to stem from the magnetar's surface, where the immense magnetic field puts so much stress on the star's crust that it cracks, releasing bursts of energy. This intense activity makes magnetars stand out compared to the more steady emission patterns of regular neutron stars, which emit pulses of radio waves as they spin and are often observed as pulsars. Contrastingly, black holes emit no radiation themselves and are only detectable by their gravitational effects on nearby matter. In comparison, the violent high-energy bursts from magnetars provide direct observables that help astronomers study the most extreme conditions under which matter can exist. This is why understanding magnetars is so crucial. They offer insights into the behavior of matter and energy in conditions that are impossible to replicate on Earth. Understanding the fundamental nature of magnetars is key to advancing our knowledge of the universe. It helps us test the laws of physics in extreme conditions and improve our understanding of the life cycles of stars, especially what happens in the aftermath of a supernova explosion. The story of this magnetar begins with its discovery in 2003, when it suddenly lit up the X-ray sky, signaling its presence to astronomers across the globe. Located approximately 8,000 light years away from Earth, it is one of the closest known magnetars to our planet, making it a prime candidate for detailed astrophysical study. Initially, it behaved as expected for a magnetar, showcasing powerful bursts of X-rays and an unusual feature among magnetars emissions of radio waves. However, after its vibrant initial display, it unexpectedly went silent, entering a long dormant phase that intrigued astronomers. This period of silence lasted over a decade, a common occurrence in the unpredictable life cycles of magnetars, which can switch between active and quiescent phases without clear warning. The silence was abruptly broken in 2018, when the magnetar reactivated and began emitting radio waves again. This event provided astronomers with a rare opportunity to observe a magnetar undergoing a phase of revival, an occurrence not well documented before due to the rarity of these objects and their unpredictable behavior. The observation of this reactivation was made possible through the use of sophisticated astronomical instruments. The Lovell Telescope at the University of Manchester and the Murriang Parks Radio Telescope in Australia played crucial roles in monitoring the renewed activity. These telescopes, designed to detect faint radio emissions from distant cosmic objects, allowed astronomers to capture and study the signals emitted by the magnetar as it woke from its slumber. 
This opportunity to monitor a magnetar over such a transition is exceedingly rare in astronomy and provides vitally important data for understanding the life cycle of these enigmatic objects. Each burst of radiation and period of silence adds a piece to the puzzle of high-energy astrophysics, enriching our understanding of how magnetars evolve over time and how their magnetic fields influence their behavior. The study of magnetars like this one extends far beyond simple observation. It challenges our understanding of the universe at a fundamental level. These objects, with their extreme magnetic fields and explosive behavior, serve as cosmic laboratories for testing theories about high-energy physics and the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. Our current understanding of magnetars is based on the intricate interactions between the neutron star's intense magnetic field and its solid crust. As this magnetic field decays, it releases vast amounts of energy, heating the magnetar and leading to violent bursts of radiation. These interactions are complex and continue to be a major focus of research. Observations like the recent reactivation of a magnetar provide essential data that help refine our theoretical models. Thanks to improvements in computational power and observational technology, our ability to simulate the environments around magnetars and predict their behavior has greatly improved. These simulations are vital for understanding how magnetars evolve and how the decay of their magnetic fields affects their observable characteristics. Additionally, these advancements enable researchers to investigate how magnetars might influence their surrounding space, including the potential to accelerate particles to near-light speeds. Such phenomena could connect magnetars to observable cosmic rays and fast radio bursts, expanding our knowledge of these enigmatic objects. Looking forward, the integration of magnetar studies into the broader field of multi-messenger astronomy promises to unlock further cosmic secrets. This approach combines traditional electromagnetic observations with data from other sources, such as gravitational waves and neutrinos, providing a more comprehensive picture of these extreme events. Such studies could reveal new insights into the role of magnetars in the cosmos and potentially link them to other high-energy phenomena like gamma-ray bursts. This rich vein of research not only enhances our understanding of magnetars themselves, but also broadens our knowledge of the fundamental forces that shape the universe. By studying these rare and extreme objects, astronomers can refine their theories about stellar evolution, the behavior of matter in high-energy environments, and the dynamic processes that govern the cosmos. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey through the universe's most magnetic mysteries. Today, we've explored not just the peculiar life of a magnetar, but also how these celestial giants can help us understand the fundamental forces of nature. Remember, every time we decode a bit of the universe's secrets, we take another step toward answering some of the biggest questions in science. Keep looking up and questioning everything, and who knows what mysteries we'll unlock next.